thing. Every time we come out with something to mitigate the effects of climate change or to slow uh, the effects of climate change. And I'm talking about things like the clean heat standard, the renewable energy standard, uh, which we are going to see a concerted campaign to kill. And this bill, the flooding bill, will also see a concerted campaign to slow it, alter it, or kill it. What, what they do, and I, I, I don't consider this name calling, this is a description a factual description of what goes on in this building. So what they do is wait for us to offer policy in this space, and then they line up against it with whatever the best argument is. The two arguments that we usually hear are that it costs more than a dollar, and it will disrupt a little bit to a lot. So if you're talking about remaking an economy that is running on fossil fuels, and we say, we need an economy that doesn't run on fossil fuels. That will require huge systemic change that will produce some disruption. It will also come at some cost. So, if you so at the state level, uh, I just want everybody to be aware that nothing will be different with these bills than what we saw with S5, the clean heat standard. So the renewable energy standard, these flooding bills will receive not kudos for your work. So chairs, you, you, you know this, I'm not telling you anything you don't know. You will not receive kudos. You will receive instead sharp criticism, paid advertising, talking about how you're going to cost Vermonters money that they don't have. And that is an unfortunate fact of life. So that's my message to all of us. And it's, we need to circle our wagons. We need to rededicate ourselves to getting these things through. But I'm also talking to the Vermont media, and I will direct it to them should any of them be listening, because the way it works is when the renewable energy standard comes out, the headline is Democrats propose comprehensive legislation, Republicans point out that it will cost X number of dollars with a quote from Phil Scott right up front. And the problem with that is that the headline should be Democrats propose comprehensive climate change legislation, Republicans don't. Republicans offer nothing. But the media, because it's become so normalized, skips that step and they go to what's problematic about the legislation that's coming forward, which is, of course, exclusively democratic slash progressive. But I want to put others on notice. And I do want to put the Vermont media on notice. And I want to put the Republican Party on notice. We are going forward with these bills. We do not intend just to be punching bags uh, because we've done the right thing. So we are going to make it clear that if nothing comes from the Republican side, do they deserve uh, a full voice in the argument? I think in order to have that full voice, they need to be not only in committee, but coming forward with their own bills to address flooding, mitigation, climate change. Um, so that's my short rant for the, the day and I'll